Okay, hi there. So in this second video, we're going to take a look at a little number, a little clutch of behavioral biases that affect people's decision making. Behavioral biases are, if you like, psychological factors that influence the decisions we make. First one I'd like to look at is what's called the default bias, otherwise known as the status quo bias. And this is the idea that we as humans tend to be resistant to change. We like our daily routines. We exhibit very strong default behavior in how we go about our daily lives. And these can be quite hard to change, but change is required, particularly when you have a public health emergency. Changing the default can be hugely important. Uh, and the government could have tried to persuade people to change their behavior, ultimately to change behavior sufficiently quickly and at scale required a form of what's called mandated choice. Uh, stay at home, work from home, protect the NHS and save lives. It'll be interesting to see if this, uh, this new default, if you like, becomes uh, ingrained and embedded in people's behavior. There's some evidence, for example, that uh, many risk averse people are nervous about leaving home to go out and shop and go out to work, for example, until they're sure that there's been a significant reduction in infection. In France, as the lockdown gradually, stage by stage, is lifted, they've brought in again mandated choice to change the default. Uh, you will wear a mask wearing public transport and, uh, and in schools. Likewise, compulsory, if you like, temperature checks for people in certain businesses, for example, Amazon, bringing in masks and temperature checks at their warehouse. My second bias in this little cluster is the availability heuristic. This is the idea that we judge the probability of something, uh, and in particular the probability of something happening, perhaps to us, uh, by the ease with which examples of an event can be retrieved from our memory. What links the following people? Well, they've all contracted coronavirus. And of course, when you get people who are high profile, or perhaps in your near community, or perhaps wider family, who uh, experience the, the disease, that really does bring it home to you, and it makes it salient uh, to people, and that can affect people's perceptions of the seriousness or the risks involved. My third uh, behavioural bias in this video is the idea of social norms. Our day-to-day -day behaviour is often strongly influenced by the prevailing social norms and the prevailing social customs. And these can change. And often again, they do have to change. For example, social norms about social distancing. Here's a quite a powerful short video from the Ohio Department of Health. I like that example of appealing to social norms of behaviour. Another thing which affects our decision making is the framing. Uh, framing is an idea that uh, people's decisions, people's choices, uh, can be based or influenced by the form in which information is presented. Again, let's think about social distancing. Uh, here's an interesting idea from a professor of psychology at Stanford in the United States, Professor Jamil Zaki. And he argues that uh, instead of social distancing, which is a phrase which has become very popular and common, uh, we should get people to practice distance socialising or change the wording from social distancing to physical distancing, from social distancing to distance socialising. You may be the case, it may be the case with you, but I, I've probably had more contact with friends far and wide uh, under lockdown than I would normally have day to day when things were under normal circumstances. The way in which a decision is framed, described to you, can influence your decision making. We move on to another set of biases in our second video.